in the Independent and in the yeah. Guardian looking at the, the Colson statue and what they're yeah. calling Tory meddling in this case. Yes. Well, I mean, that's the Guardian's view. The, the problem with it, really, Steve, is that it was, it's been a political case from the very start. Mm, quite. I mean, you know, the, the way in which the defence case, what they put to the jury, um, you know, was considerable pressure. He was saying, look, you know, you've got to make the, the right decision i.e. what we believe, and uh, you've got to make sure because it's going to reverberate around the world. It certainly but, will. We're re reverberating mm. around every city you can mm. think of. Yes, mm. it's it, it, got a sort of contentious statue somewhere, exactly. uh, including Parliament Square. Which I mean, is, you think everywhere. of the statue of Winston Churchill, which has been defaced before. Suddenly, is it OK? For, are people going to see it as a green well, light now? To, exactly. Well, to deface? I think the people who want to deface and want to desecrate will see it as a green light. Mm. I mean, you know, because they've sort of had a kind of tacit permission given here. This was an open and shut criminal damage case, yes. really. Well, this is the, the public think that. If you yes. listen and, and talk to everybody, it's like, I don't understand it. They almost admitted criminal damage yep. and they were cleared of criminal yeah. damage. So I don't understand it. But almost every lawyer is going, no, the jury's decision is final. We have to stick by it. But what I want to know, Peter, is what was on trial here? It almost feels like to me that the, the statue and the past of Edward Colson was on trial. But yes, it was rather, Colson who was on trial. Rather than the actions of four people who literally admitted and were filmed I bet, you, I bet you there are people now guilty, from obviously. cities all over the country, mm. uh, indeed all over the world, as I said earlier, who've got one of these statues maybe in their town mm. that um, has probably got a very dodgy or contentious background. Um, and maybe on, I mean, should on every council there be a committee that actually looks at this very thing? No, because I think that that, that way lies madness, actually, you'll find that they all start coming down because everyone's so frightened <clears throat> of saying the wrong thing. I mean, the fact is, Anne, is that, you know, when you ask people, when they do polls, local polls, people do not want the statues to come down. They don't necessarily... It doesn't mean that they in some way uh, agree with, maybe, you know, in this case, slavery. Of course, who does? No one. But they just see it as being part of our history and you can't well, just I don't, keep I ripping don't, it down. I think maybe in Bristol, if you're, if you're white and middle class, you might think that, but <clears> not if you, if, you, if you're a, a, a black mother wheeling her children past that statue every day, when that statue is up there as a, a celebration of somebody who made money out of it. I know, but it's, and it's an insult to, to, to half the population of Bristol. Of course it is. But it, have should, a referendum. it should be debated. And, you know, there was a movement in Bristol to get the statue moved and changed and have a plaque explaining what mm. was going on. That's all fine. And no one's agreeing with slavery, obviously. But... This is wrong. You can't go about taking the law into your own hands because you disagree with a political viewpoint, whether that viewpoint is right or wrong. OK, let's move on to... Um, because we'll never get to an answer on that one, no. obviously.